Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and today we're going to talk about the first part of changing over our fish room and that is we've got a couple 20 gallon high tanks and so you can see here we've got some 20 gallons. These tanks need to be cleaned. We're going to paint the backs. We're going to talk about that today. And then let me move out of the way, Luke. Show them what we're going to be replacing. So over here, this 55, I didn't measure this correctly and I've only got this much space and there is no way that you can work in a tank with that much space. So this 55 is going to go out into the old side of the fish room. We're going to put two 20 gallon tanks here similar to what we have on the other side. So stay tuned. We're going to show you what we used to paint the tanks with. We're going to show you how we paint the tanks and we will probably put these tanks in. All right everyone so before you paint the tanks we just like to give it a quick little little uh, rinse so just a couple a little light very light sprays with the glass cleaner and we wipe this down and that way it ensures that there's no dirt or anything that's going to prevent the paint from sticking so you just want a, a decently clean surface and then we'll come over here and we'll do the same thing for this tank one thing i like to do is i like to use the side of the tank that didn't have all the stickers all over it just because I've found that sometimes those stickers will leave a residue and next thing you know the paint's not adhering quite as well to the glass. So the back side, the, paint, the side that we paint is the side that did not have the stickers all plastered to the all tank. Right. So Luke is being my helper here. This is what we use, hold it steady, uh, this is what we use to paint our tanks. It's been working great. Uh, you can pick this up I think at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, my wife buys it so I'm not exactly sure where she gets it but I know it works it's an acrylic paint uh, it the nice thing about it is it goes on relatively easy we usually use about three coats and it can be scraped off with a razor blade so if you decide I don't like it or it gets nicked or scratched uh, you can take it off the only the only downside to using this is it does uh, it will scratch so you have to be careful with your tank after you paint it but it's been working out great all of the tanks we have on the new side of the fish room are painted with this and we've had no issue. All right, everyone. So we get the paintbrush, the roller, and we literally just roll this stuff on. It's not real hard. I'm not overly concerned about the rim of the tank or the trim on the backside, because let's face it, you're really not going to see the backside. So it doesn't matter if you get paint all over it. If you do get paint somewhere where you don't want it on the glass, again, it scrapes off so easily that it just really doesn't matter. So the first coat, it's gonna be kind of thin and I almost guarantee you using this paint at least, you're gonna be able to see right through it uh, if you were to shine a light on it. So uh, this usually for us requires a couple of coats at least, well, more like three coats. So there you have it. That is coat number one. We're gonna let that dry and then we'll add the second and third coats. So here you can see Luke's got the other tank going and he's covering the first, doing the first batch and he's never painted a tank before and I'd say for never painting a tank, looks pretty darn good. Good job, Luke. Okay, next thing you wanna do, take a smaller sponge brush and just go ahead and push paint up into these creases right here or where the seams meet just because the rollers typically don't do that very well. And again, I really don't care if I get paint on the frame because you're not gonna see the frame and believe it or not, when this dries, it really doesn't look that different. So I just take this just like that to cover that up. It doesn't have to look super pretty uh, just because this is gonna, when it dries and when you look at it from the other side, it's gonna have that more of that matte finish. It's not gonna be super shiny. And it just it's a, it's a great paint to work with. It's really simple. When you do this, this is gonna take a little bit longer to dry than the rest of the tank. The one thing I would uh, caution you against is make sure the paint is dry before you add the next coat. Because if you don't do that, your sponge brush, your sponge roller is going to pull up the paint from the previous coat and that's kind of a pain so just have patience with it and make sure it's dry before you continue 
And this is what they look like when they're in their proper spot. So if you uh, were to come in before we had that 55 gallon there. So now we've got the 220s. And in the next couple days, we'll work on getting these tanks set up so we can start moving fish around and start doing the rest of the fish room plan. All right, everyone, so that's kind of how we paint the tanks. We much prefer to paint the tanks as opposed to using some of the store-bought backgrounds because inevitably what happens is after you tape them all up and get them on the backs of the tanks, uh, eventually water is going to kind of drip between the tank glass and the background. That's going to leave hard water stains, and that doesn't look so good. So the tanks that we've set up, uh, since we started doing the new side of the fish room and even some of the older tanks on the, on the other side, we've been painting those. It's been working out great. The paint itself is easy to touch up and it's easy to scrape off if you don't want that anymore or want to change the color. And it's relatively, it's relatively durable enough to, to stay around for a long time. So if you like this video, subscribe, stay tuned because we're going to be doing a lot more videos. And this is really just step one in us adding the tanks to the fish room and adding that extra capacity. So we'll see you in the next one.